Hey guys, I wanted to talk about uh, programming the uh, AnyTone AT6666. Uh, so, uh, what you see right there is a, you, you see a speaker out and you see a USB port in the back of that thing. Now, I, I want to make it pretty clear uh, that that's actually not a real USB port. So, if you were to connect a USB cable, a mini USB cable, it would not. It wouldn't do anything. Your computer wouldn't make any noise. It wouldn't detect anything. So, that's actually a serial port that's using a USB connector. So, if you want to program this this device, you're going to have to get uh, a special cable. And I'll put a link in uh, Amazon where you can get this where I bought it. It was sixteen dollars. And it's this is actually a. It's actually not a USB. Well, it's a USB cable, but it's an. It's called an RS two thirty two converter. Uh, most of the time they're made by Prolific, the, the actual internal chip in this thing, but like uh, all my other radios have USB programming cables. Um, the only difference is that what throws you off is that USB connector. It makes you think that it's USB. But it's not USB, it's just a, basically a serial cable with a USB converter on it. So, um, Alright, yeah, I want to fire this up, use the software, and see what I can do. I've never programmed this device yet, so I guess we'll uh, see what's up. Yeah, there's not a lot of documentation about this cable and like how to program this thing, so it's the instructions are really vague. So, so I guess we'll uh, I'll put also a link uh, where you can get the software. But uh, all right, let's see if I can program this thing. And see what happens. All right, guys, back here. Uh, now I'm on my computer. So I just want to show you first of all. Um, I already actually do have a, a different serial converter cable going to my uh, QYT 700D, the quad band radio. And that's currently on COM3. So I haven't even plugged that device in yet. So I just wanted to have you guys see what I see. So what we're looking at is right here. I should get a second COM port. Which hopefully should auto detect it. I guess we'll find out. Plug this in quick. Oh, I got to get down there real quick. Sorry, our house is a mess. My kids are messy. the new device is on COM8 and that's why I did that because I didn't really know I wanted to know for sure like what COM port is going to what what device so COM8 is the Initone radio all right I'll be back all right guys back here um, so uh, we have the COM port set up that looks good COM8 and let's minimize that so this is the software that I downloaded it's uh, from motion.us this is the link Put that in the description too as well. So, and the software I downloaded was this AT6666 setup 201. So let me uh, fire up the software real quick. And let me drag it over to this window. I have quad monitor, so let's see if you guys can still see me here. Okay, here on the thing. So, so right now we first got to read the radio. Um, well, let's first set up, make sure it's on the right COM port. COM8, yep, that's correct. Uh, looks like we're already in English already. I guess you could choose English. I'm already in English. Um, okay, so we're going to read from the radio. So this is going to download all the current information that's stored in the radio. Uh, yes. So as soon as I start doing this, on the uh, front of my machine it says PC. Or the front of the uh, radio here. Alright, let's go Alright, so one of the reasons I want to, well, first it's just cool, I'm, I want to play with it, but um, I wanted to program my channels for a CB frequency so I could quickly just go to my CB frequencies. And when I originally got the radio, I thought I had found it, but it was kind of off and skewed a little bit, so. Um, I'm going to make channel band group A. This is the default config where you're looking at. Um, so it's currently reading it. So once it gets read, then it's going to read. Here it goes. It's going to happen right now. All right, cool. 
So I don't see. I mean, that, I know that's a that's a CB frequency, twenty seven. That's channel forty. But uh, they're not organized in a way that it, you know. I need to make it. Let's try banger B. Yeah, nothing. Not right. D. Yeah, I'd already gone through this. It nothing to look actually like it was correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put my uh, the CB channel frequencies in there and kind of just go through and play with this. You have like busy off to the scan ad. Kind of go back to anger A. Oh yeah, then you can actually select. Uh, so if you didn't actually want to manually press the buttons on the front, you know, go between HF and CB mode. You can just go here, you know. At your 10 meter mode, and this is basically like export mode, which is 25.6150 to 30.10 by 0. So, let's see channel information, options. I don't know, I mean, I'm still learning this stuff, so I'm trying to, I don't know what a lot of this stuff means. Uh, I could. Okay, Roger B. That is. I mean, I work in IT. I, I set up phone systems for a living, so I'm familiar with DTMF. That's actually a pain in the ass with voice over IP. It's never had that issue with PRIs and analog. Well, I mean, little PRIs sometimes, but VoIP is can create issues with DTMF. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go back, put the channel information in, and do it right real quick. Let me show you. All right. Maybe this is better. I, I didn't have my headset on before when I was recording, so. Okay, so I have all the uh, CB frequencies put in there, and maybe if one of you guys are watching, you can let me know like why it skips frequencies. Like here it goes from three five zero to zero five five, and then it was another weird anomaly that was like uh, it like skipped back and uh, see how in like channel twenty two it's twenty seven dot two two five. Then it goes 27255. It skips a dash. And then it goes back to 235 on 2124. Then goes up to 24. It just seems like it's kind of all over the place. So, um, yeah, I had to verify. I was on uh, Wikipedia here. And uh, that's where I got it. Hold on. Get that back up here. So. Okay, uh, and also radios. Uh, sorry, cell phone ringing here. Okay, so let's write this thing, and we'll do some quick testing to see if it actually truly is programmed. And I'll go through the uh, frequencies here. All right, so let's go to. Uh, this is the first time I've ever written this radio, so I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see, write to radio. Yes, I do. So it says PC on my radio again. And the QITs, they reboot themselves when I'm doing an update, so we'll see what happens here. And then as soon as this comes up, I'm going to bring my SDR up. It's got a phone call. All right. Tired, long day, troubleshooting IT problems all day long. All right. All right, cool. All right. So I'm going to get out of this software here. I don't know if I, he still says PC send on here. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to close this out. Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn the radio off, turn it back on. Alright, let's do a, uh, I'm going to hit the, turn this into channel mode. Make sure I'm in band group A. Bring up my SDR sharp. And I'm in the CB mode. You can see this whole CB band here. 
to zoom it out so you'll see. Uh, make sure this is on my right switch. All right, let's give a little test key here. So right now, channel one should be, it should fire up right in here somewhere, if you can see my mouse. There we go, channel one. Is that programmed correctly? All right, and let's go to, actually I'm in USB mode. <laughs> let's just do, oh, well, it doesn't make a difference. I'm in, I'm in USB mode in this thing here, so. Let's switch over to channel 20, let's see what happens. Channel 20! Channel 20! Alright, let's switch over to channel 40. Channel 40! You can see the little bar here. Cool. Hello, hello, hello! Back to channel, let's say... Channel 6. Hello, 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 hello. So I should probably get my watt meter on this thing to see what kind of watts I'm putting out. Um, like, I don't know if this thing knows automatically that it's in CV mode and tries to lower the waters down, or if it even restricts it at all, because six, it, this thing is supposed to put out 60 watts on single side, side bed mode, so... Alright guys, that's how you program this thing. Pretty basic. I mean, not a lot of options, so... I mean, it makes it a little bit easier than how to do it by hand on the machine, so... Cool. Uh, yeah, if you want that USB cable, it's, uh, I'll put a link on it down below. Amazon. It's like 16 bucks. Alright, cool.